What is going on guys, Apple Fox here, back again with another video. So the iPhone 8 is going to be released quite soon. I mean, in just a couple of months we're gonna be seeing the real deal and as you probably know, I started a series on this channel covering the latest rumors of the iPhone 8. So this time I will be focused on the display and the technology implemented into it. All of these are just rumors. I mean, it's very likely to be true, but it's not confirmed by Apple. So we're still just speculating about the final design and look, and once they finally release it, it may be a little different. So what do we know so far? Well, just like with the ladies iPad Pro, the change that happened there was a bigger display, but the same hardware. What it means is that the bezels were shrunk, and the less bezels a device has, the better and more futuristic it looks. Now, the iPhone 8 is rumored to have no bezel, or very small bezel at least, so the entire front side will consist of the screen, and that way it will be a lot larger, but the actual phone size stays the same. Similar thing happened when the 10.5 inch iPad Pro was released. But when the iPhone screen will be on the entire front panel, where will all of the things like FaceTime camera, speaker and the sensors be placed? Well, not the whole front panel will consist of display. And there is supposed to be a section on top of the iPhone 8 dedicated for this but in a very cool way, meaning it won't be disturbing that much and it will look very clean. Many designers create their own ideas of how this will look like, and according to those concepts it's gonna be great. I absolutely love this design, it looks very sleek and modern, definitely not like something we have seen before. Now I just hope that this is the real deal. Another cool thing that is rumored to come to the iPhone 8 is 120 pixels refresh rate. It's already part of the 10.5 inch iPad Pro that has just been published, and if you don't know what it is, then it basically means smoother animations. So instead of the pixels being refreshed 60 times per second, we should be seeing a display with doubled amount of refreshes. So pretty much every animation gets smoother and more pleasing to look at. It's something similar when you set 60 frames per second on a camera. Compared to usual 30 frames per second, it's very smooth. And when you capture some movement with this frame rate, it looks a lot better. One concern I'm having with this is the battery life, because the smoother animations will naturally consume more battery. But like on the iPad Pro, this technology is only used when needed. So it is not being used when watching movies, for example. Also, when the display is so big, how do you avoid accidental touching of the display? So in case this type of display will be part of the iPhone 8, Apple needs to implement some kind of palm rejection feature, which will prevent it. Similar to the Galaxy 8 with its huge screen, with no bezels on the sides, it definitely needs some kind of palm rejection. Also, the home button is supposed to be implemented into the display. How exactly they're gonna do it, we don't know, but it's definitely expected and rumored to happen. Hopefully, we'll be seeing a very cool home button embedded into the lower portion of the screen that works by force pressing. Not only that, but the actual Touch ID is part of the home button. What's gonna happen on the iPhone 8 in terms of Touch ID is of course unclear now, because all of these are just rumors that will most likely be true, but is not confirmed by Apple. I made a video specified on Touch ID on the iPhone 8, so make sure to check it out. Anyways, there is a chance that it will be embedded into the display as well. So guys, that is the end of today's video, thank you so much for watching, I really hope you enjoyed this video, don't forget to click the subscribe button in case you don't want to miss out. Have a nice day and see you next time.